Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one simulation to do from the user Troll EG in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this simulation in but without further ado let's get into this. So their simulation is called the Hottest Stars. So it seems to be a diagram simulation um, of some kind just um, by looking at um, what he said there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, search it up. So let's see what they've got for us. Okay, so the hottest stars. Right, okay, cool. Right, oh. oh. Okay, so how, how are we doing? Okay, I'm guessing the coldest stars are... Uh, is this the 20,000? Okay, surely that's quite high. What about over here? Okay, so this is 12. Okay, so we start off over on this side then. These are the colder ones. Okay, so he put that uh, in here. Uh, note, CS stands for Central Star. Okay, so this is the Central Star of the Ring Nebula, I'm guessing then. So, a Ring Nebula. A star with CS as a suffix means it's a Central Star of a Planetary Nebula. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, some masses are estimated. Okay. Cool, cool. Right. So, these are all of the hottest stars I'm assuming that we know about. So, not the most luminous, but we're talking temperature, the hottest. So, we can see radius, 3.3 Earth. So, we can see this one's probably a white dwarf of some kind. If it's only 3.3 Earth, so you can see it's not really anything large. I mean, all these stars aren't really anything special in the size department. So, I'm guessing these are all kind of like white dwarf-like objects at all. I don't know, because he said that only the... He didn't. He said that the mass wasn't correct. They are estimated. So, does that apply for the radius as well? I'm not exactly sure. But, yeah, if we look at all these, I mean, eight Jupiters. I mean, these aren't... If we compare it to the sun, actually, the sun is in theory only a bit smaller than the biggest stars in here. Okay, interesting stuff. Rigel would dominate them all, for instance, so... Interesting. Okay, so WR38, so we've got another very, very hot star here. So we started off at... Okay, so that's 125,000 Kelvin. Or if you want it in uh, Celsius, so 124,000. So yeah, pretty insane stuff there. Surface temperature on the next one is 125,900 Kelvin. So we can see we're having an increase. The next one is WR30A, okay, so this one is 129,500 surface temperature, so we're going up more and more. Then we have WR9A, 139,000, oh yeah, I'm guessing these are all legit, like these are all realistic temperatures then, um, if this is a diagram he's made, so yeah, I've never heard of any of these stars, uh, I, I don't even know what the hottest stars are, I know more about the luminous stars, but not about the, the hottest ones. So that's, um, yeah, pretty cool stuff here. So yeah, I've never heard of any of these stars. But yeah, let us know in the comments if you've uh, heard of any of these ones. Um, so yeah, 139,000 on that one. Next star along, 141,000. Yeah, I've never heard of any of these names um, for these stars. So there we are. So we're going by his word that these are all legit, I guess. So um, 141,000 on this one as well. Next up, we've got another 141,000. So they've all got similar temperatures here. So there we are. 141,000 again. Surely they can't all be the same one, right? So, okay, 141 on this one as well. So, BAT 99.2. Then we got IC 1613DR1. See, that sounds like a galaxy name sort of object. So, yeah, it makes sense that, yeah, that would be a real, real star then, I'm guessing. So, cool, cool. Okay, well, hang on. So, we're taking a... Oh, so this is 150,000 now, right? Okay, so we... Yeah, big jump to the next one. 150 Kelvin, 150,000. Then we have another 150. I'm guessing these are rounded up is probably uh, my best guess with these. I'm guessing they've been rounded up to the closest 1,000, possibly, or 10,000. So, yeah, that's LH41 at 1042. Cool, cool. Next up, we've got this one at 160,000, right? So, WR93B. Damn, this must have taken ages to prepare, looking up at all the stats for these stars. So, there we go, 165,000 at this one. So, again, this is probably another white dwarf i'm guessing so there's that one okay next up we got another bat 99123 now oh, wow surface temperature 198,000 on this one ngc so yeah it's another name i've seen before for the ngc's uh wr142 so that's 200 we're at 200,000 kelvin now oh, very very hot he's given them a custom color so another 200,000 200,000 again. Yeah, these must all be rounded up because there's no way they're all going to be exactly the same, I don't think. So, yeah, they must be rounded up. So, there's that one. And then lastly, we've got WR102. So, that's the uh, final one. So, we can see how, how many objects are in here. So, it's 
uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 6, 12, 18, and 19. So, 19, so these are the 19 hottest known stars, question mark? Yeah, let, Troll EG, let us know um, down below. But yeah, I'm guessing these are the, um, well, 19 of the hottest stars known. Are they the hottest ones, or are they just of the hottest, I guess? Uh, yeah, I'm guessing these would be the hottest of all time discovered then, these 19. So yeah, pretty cool stuff there. And yeah, pretty cool um, simulation from um, Troll EG to send in there. So yeah, I've never, I've never, personally, I've never heard, like I said, I've never heard of any of these names. Uh, in particular, any of these stars in particular. Obviously, I've heard of names like, um, where was it? Uh, NGC. Like, I've seen that on black holes and stuff before, the uh, NGC term. But yeah, all of these stars in specifically, I've not I've not seen any of these names before. So um, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, I'm assuming these are all like real stars. But yeah, I've just never heard of any of them personally. So yeah, that's a thank you to Choiji for sending this little uh, simulation in for us to uh, check today. And yeah, guys, let us know what you think of this down below in the comments. And yeah, that all said and done, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video for this star diagram. Yeah, pretty cool stuff indeed. I, honestly, I like the custom colours that were put in for these uh, ultra blue ones. I think that is really, really cool. If you want to get just a line up them all in temperature mode. Ooh. Oh, no, that messed up. No, hang on. Oh, oh okay, never mind. Mass... So there's a nice uh, lineup of them all there. But yeah, if that all said and done, guys, let's see them go for 30 likes. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.